In our last segment, we talked about Laura Nero. Turns out Elliot Randall worked with a lot of people who are no longer with us. In this episode, Christy McCall. Remember, if you want to support the channel, there are links in the description. You can either buy a t-shirt, make a donation on PayPal, or join our Patreon. Here's Elliot Randall. Kirsty McCall was an English singer-songwriter who had successful albums like Kite, Electric Landlady, and Tropical Brainstorm. Galore, the best of Kirsty McCall, went to number six in the UK. Some of her hits include There's a Guy Works Down the Chip Shop, Swears He's Elvis. Some top tens in England and New England. She was in the famous Christmas tale, fairy tale of New York with the Pogues. That reached number two. Other hits included Days and Walking Down Madison. She wasn't that well known in North America, but certainly Christy McCall is one of those artists you might want to look up on Apple or Spotify. She was killed in a boating accident December 18th, 2000. She was killed in Mexico as a result of a powerboat accident. She was swimming with her family in a restricted area. While she was pushing her 15 year old out of harm's way, she was struck by the boat. She died instantly. Christy McCall, a wow. tragic story. What a town. I mean, I did a video on, on that, uh, not just the tragedy part of it, of the fact that, you know, people, you, you should know who this woman is. Um, yeah. Electric la uh, 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 landlady. landlady. Yeah. yeah. Um, tell me that about working record. with, and did you go back with her at all? Or did you just meet her there? Um, I met her there. A, a mutual friend, uh, an engineer called John Fausti who was this legendary Latin engineer, um, introduced us. He was brought in to engineer Kirsty's album, mm. uh, even though still Steve Lillywhite was there because he was producing it. I mean, Steve could have done a great job, obviously, but they, they wanted John because of John's authentic salsa roots. And a fair amount of this album was kind of Latin-based. So... Um, we hit it off. We hit it off really, really well. And I was on my way back to London after that. And so were they. And uh, we wound up doing a bunch more creative stuff together. There was a little while I spent when she had a, a band, you know, playing little live gigs in London. But Kirsty didn't like to perform live. She was absolutely petrified. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, her talent lay in the writing you know, both the, the music and lyrics of things, and also in having one of the most gorgeous voices ever in history. Yeah. Who, who to you, who, who was Kirsty? Who, who, uh, who was she to you? Like, I mean, was she kind? She was she freewheel? I mean, like, what, how would you oh, describe Oh, yeah, we had, we had an awful lot of fun together. We really, really did. We hung out at Stephen Kirsty's a lot. And, um, We were soulmates, I would say. Yeah. You know, we really sort of had this thing, this musical thing that we shared. SNL, what did you do on SNL? Um, my little badge said um, music consultant. But what it really meant was I would come in when they needed guitar for certain skits. Um, I was consulted for a number of skits as well, you know, some of the more punky things. Which really weren't my my genre, but you know that remember that Gilda uh, Candy Slice? Um, give me I'll look Mick. It up. Oh, it, it's really quite funny. Gilda Gilda Radner, give me Mick. Um, so you know, I had a lot to do with the formation of, of of the arrangement, and you know, working with all of the the you know the not ready for primetime players to make it all happen right. And we all we got on like a house on fire. I don't care what anybody says about, you know, Belushi was a bully. No, not to me. I mean, yeah, yeah, he was always, he was a cool guy. Yeah, uh, and that's the classic. I mean, that's the ultimate lineup, right? Everyone talked that first lineup. I mean, geez. Oh, God. Yeah, absolutely. We'll have more from Elliot Randall in a couple of days. Remember, he was a session guitarist for Steely Dan, Frankie Valley. Paul Anka, two of the KISS members' solo albums, Gene Simmons, Peter Chris. He worked with the Village People, Richie Havens, Peter Frampton, Yoko Ono, Carly Simon, Carl Wilson, Laura Nero, Kirsty McCall, and many others. Remember, if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description. You can make a donation at PayPal, join our Patreon, or buy a t-shirt. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.